Hi, my name is Vaman Deshmukh and in this session we are going to discuss package overloading in uh, PL SQL in Oracle. Uh, as we have seen in the previous videos about packages, now we have created procedures, functions, you know variables, you know so many things within a package. Now uh, generally a package can have, uh, I mean the members names in a package are unique multiple package members cannot have the same name within one package. But uh, Oracle PL SQL supports, uh, up to some extent it supports object oriented programming concepts and it supports polymorphism and it supports polymorphism uh, in uh, by using package overloading. So, package overloading is a simple mechanism in which uh, you can access a particular package member and that package uh, member will have different functionalities uh, based on your requirement. So, basically package overloading means uh, one particular package member will behave in a different way uh, based on different requirements. This is very similar to a method overloading in Java and uh, package overloading there are basically three types of that. Uh, you have got uh, procedure overloading, you have got function overloading and uh, you have got procedure function overloading. So, procedure overloading in which multiple uh, procedures will have the same name, but the parameters or the order of the parameters will be different. Uh, same is applicable to function overloading as well. Multiple functions will have the same name, but uh, the parameters will be different. On the other hand, a uh, procedure function overloading procedures and functions will have the same name uh, and the parameters also will be same, but one will be a procedure and another one will be a function. Uh, let us see examples of uh, these things. To start with, uh, let us create a package in that uh, we will have multiple procedures uh, with the same name and the parameters will be different. So, here I am going to show an example of a procedure overloading. Uh, first of all, I am going to create a package. Uh, it is a package specification in the first step. So, create package PC4 in that I have uh, you know the two different procedure objects, procedure F1 and again procedure F1, but the first procedure has two parameters and the second procedure has uh, three parameters and uh, these procedures will add two numbers. Uh, in fact, they will add two numbers as well as three numbers and they will return the output. So, let me create this package and let us see. The package has been created. This is a package specification only. The next step is to create package body. So, let me create package body as well here. Look at the package body. Uh, in the package body, I am describing these procedures, procedure F1, the first uh, procedure object. It will give the output as a dbms output dot put line statement. Here is the first uh, procedure object and here is the second procedure object and uh, this is the package body. The package body has been created. So, here is your package specification and here is a package body. Let us test uh, this package now. Let us test this procedure now. You simply need to type on a SQL prompt, execute procedure name. I mean execute package name dot procedure name. So, package name is PC4 dot procedure name is F1. Here I will give two parameters 10, 20 and the output is 30. Similarly, uh, we will test the other way also of the procedure. Here I will give three parameters 10, 20, 30 and here is the output. Now, I can add two numbers, I can add three numbers using this procedure, but actually cannot add four numbers because we have not created that type of procedure within this package. But we can definitely add two numbers as well as three numbers. So, same procedure from the user perspective, it is behaving in two different ways. 
this is an example of procedure overloading. Now going forward, let us see an example of function overloading. So here I am going to create a package specification to show an example of uh, function overloading. So you could see the package PC3 uh, I have created here, package specification and here package body. We have got two functions within this package, function f1 with two parameters and again function f1 with three parameters. Let me test this function. You know when it comes to the procedure, we can execute the procedure independently, but when it comes to the function, functions do not execute independently, you should call them, you should call them either within a procedure or you know within any SQL program, uh, any SQL statement. So let me call this function here in a simple SQL statement. I will select PC3 dot, select PC3 dot F1, right, and any two parameters so that I can add these two numbers. Select PC3 dot F1, 10, 20 from dual, and here is the output 30. I can also add three numbers, so I will add three numbers now. Here is the output, but as I told you previously as well. I cannot add more than three numbers because uh, we only have created a uh, function with uh, two and three arguments respectively. So you could see the same function, it adds two numbers, it also adds three numbers. Uh, this is an example of function overloading within a PLSQL package. Now going forward, let us see an example of procedure function overloading. Look at this code, here I am going to create package PC5. In that I have this procedure F1 with two parameters and I also have a function with two parameters only. Both these, both these procedure and function, they will add two numbers and they will return the output. Now please understand here, as I told you, uh, procedure overloading, function overloading and procedure function overloading they behave in a different way. When it comes to only procedure overloading, you will have the same procedure name, parameters will be different. When it comes to only function overloading, you will have same function with the same name uh, with different parameters. But when it comes to procedure and function overloading, uh, the name of course should be same and parameters also should be same. So here is the package uh, specification, I will create this package. So I created package specification and here uh, package body as well. So package and package body has been created. Now let us uh, let us test these functions and procedures. From the same package with the same name, I will call the procedure first and then I will you know call the function. Execute PC5 dot F1. So here 10, 10 comma 20, two parameters I am giving. And here is the output. Similarly, I am calling the function now pc5 dot f1 10 comma 20 right from dual. And here is the output. So you could see same member name is there. In this case, it behaves like a procedure, and in this case, it behaves like a function. This is an example of procedure and function overloading. So this is the way a PL SQL up to some extent supports object oriented programming. In this video we have discussed how to overload a function, how to overload a procedure and how to overload procedure and function within a package. Thanks for watching this video.